Hey everybody, it's Bruce and I uh, thought I'd do a cool video. I was fortunate enough to get what's a uh, Noel tent, uh, Tom Noel. I, he was partners with Wayne Gregory that started the Gregory Pack and also uh, he was also associated with Schoenhofen who went on to be one of Nike's uh, big uh, shell designers. So back in the 70s is when this particular tent, that's what I'm going to put up today, uh, was made. So uh, Wayne Gregory and Tom Noel, they started a little uh, backpacking company and they also had a few tents uh, that they were building and then when uh, Gregory sold off to Bianchi uh, the backpack and he went with that, uh, Tom Noel went on to continue to build tents. Um, these tents were like the first nylon. Uh, ripstop nylon tents and they and he innovated things like uh, venting to um, stop the condensation and all the other tents were canvas at the time and also uh, Schoenhofer was the one where he got the these tent poles and they're, so they're aluminum poles um, so this is way back before we all take it for granted and these are actually the press fit way back in the 70s um, and I was lucky enough to get a, uh, the brochure came with it. And this particular tent is uh, the Eclipse um, three season. You see uh, it's two ounce cotton nylon taffeta. The fly is uh, one and a half ounce coated ripstop. Um, the all weather model, which are a three season model, is six pounds four ounces, which I'm assuming that's what this is. Um, but I know, I know he did a lot, or maybe it's five pound, 15 ounces, like Clips Mountaineer. There's a lot of, uh, you know, Tom uh, Noel would do a lot of custom work for people. Um, you could get certain zippers done on it. Um, the guy I bought this for, he uh, was along with all those guys and, and he would have, have uh, some extra things done. I haven't put it up yet. Um, so I'm gonna put it up right now. Pull back. Need to see some of the cordage that they used back then. Uh, very reminiscent of what we have today, but, but uh, of course our stuff now is incredibly stronger and better made. This is state of the art back then. So a little neat. So yeah, so this is 1970s. The 1970s uh, circa. Yeah, even, even this uh, pull bag made different from uh, Schoenhofer. The three poles. So I think it's a brow pole. We'll see, I haven't put it up yet. So, put it all together. Already has some curve to it, it's pre curved. Uh, at Easton, what I understand is the they were the first to make aluminum aero shafts. That's kind of where this stuff came from. Looks like it's a sleeved tent. Everything's good. I mean, it's uh, what I've read. And, and the, Reviews, even I've seen. There's not too much about these tents, but uh, people say they're bombproof. Bombproof tents. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, on here, like a complete idiot. Comments. This one, oh, this one.
tent. See all that? Interesting. So we've got a front door. Front door. Let's turn it around. Okay. Last pole. Here. Let's take a quick look before I put the rain fly on. So this is the door right there. So they're like double crosses. Wow, interesting. So we don't, uh, there's a door on this side as well. Okay, very cool. Even got a tub floor on it. So we got a little repair. But uh, you know, the guy said there was a repair, but he had uh, some local seamstress do it. Let's take a look at the inside here. Okay, yeah, you can. Unzip the window right there. This is a two person. There's your stress helper across there. Wow. And there's some more venting over there that you can unzip. Definitely lots of venting. All right, let's put the, uh, the rain fly on. Vestibules. I mean, I think it remembers. Well, this is back in the beginning. There's 
some uh, adjusters, some tensioners on the fly. That is amazing. Let's take you a little trip around so we have a vestibule. Very cool. Vestibule, both sides. Mountain Center, California. A lot of these guys, uh, you know, they all started out at the same time. Um, you know, if you look at you look at all the old ones, even early winters. I've got a cool early winters lantern. Um, you know, this is stuff that I don't know if anybody's tracking it, but um, it's kind of the history, our history of uh, backpacking and camping. Let's uh, see where this goes. Velcro. Not sure that works. Let's resituate you. I can see, you know, with a two-man type of situation like they do today, but, um, you know, one person, this thing's phenomenal. Uh, feel the waterproofing, uh, the rubberization. But, you know, you know I'm going to try and uh, keep finding some of this great old stuff. See if I can get you inside. Here's the interior. Uh, so this is all no seam up above, and that's a another no seam door down there. Uh, you can unzip. No seam on the doors that you can unzip. You know, this is just you know, the coolest ever. Way back when, it's a little lamp hanger. I'm hoping I can find more and more of this era. I just love it. Um, this is the beginning of, I guess, high-tech backpacking. Well, this is Bruce, and thanks a lot. Uh, I'll get my find my early winter's uh, stuff too. Uh, love to know more about uh, Noel and his company. If anybody knows anything, uh, that. Put it down in the comment section. I think it's, uh, it's really, really neat stuff. And uh, tomorrow I'm actually taking out the state-of-the-art Hilleberg uh, Atlas, you know, which is the most modern of tents. And uh, you know, I appreciate it all. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. So take care. See you later.